The first VHDL program is for 4 is to 1 multiplexer using Dataflow. First of all, we'll click on File and we'll open New Project. Uh, we can give any name to the project. Now, here we can give is Mux uh, Demo. Mux Demo and uh, this is VHDL only. Then click on Next. Here we have to select the preferred language that is VHDL and then next and then you can click here even next year next and then finish here you have to create a new source uh, here there is VHDL module and now here we can give again a max 4 is to 1 nor 413 okay I give it 413 next now you have to give the port names we'll select the input line uh, inputs that is D0 d1 d2 d3 <clears throat> these are all the inputs one is the s that is a select line that is also input but as we know we want to have two input uh, select lines that is s0 and s1 so here we select the msb as one so now we have s0 this is s0 and this will be our s1 and one is our output so here we have to select the output so here is next here you have to check d0 is a input d1 is also a input d2 is input d3 is input s is has two buses that is s0 and s1 and y is a output so finish so here all the libraries will get created and uh, between this uh, begin we have to write a program so as uh, you might be having the table of the select lines exactly uh, data flow is uh, writing the program as how the data flows so as you know uh, if select lines are, uh, are 0 and 0 d0 gets selected and uh, if select lines are 0 and 1 d1 gets selected if select lines are 1 and 0 d2 gets selected and if select lines are 1 and 1 d3 gets selected so here we'll write the program between begin now here uh, you have to write as the program goes is y will be equal to uh, d0 when when s equals to 0 0 again double inverted commas else again now we have to select d1 when s equals to 0 1 else d2 when s equals to 1 0 else d3 so the last we can leave it like that only because uh, last will be s equals to 1 1 or either of uh, these three so that uh, in uh, select line will be selected so now the next step is implement design in this here it is synthesize xst okay yes here it will check the syntax compiled successfully syntax has been checked again now we have to go on the test bench waveform so again we'll have new now click on the create new source click on test bench waveform and uh, you can give a name that is again mux 412 415 if you can give next year yes here you have to select the part of which uh, the program of which you want to select the test bench waveform again next and then finish okay so mux 4 is to 1 is a combinational so we select the combinational that is internal clock and finish so here we have the diagram here you have to select the waveforms so here we select just random waveforms just remember if your program is correct after implementing this uh, test bench waveform uh, there would be green uh, waves either green, green lines other otherwise the waves would be completely red and therefore your marks would be cut that is your complete VHDL program is wrong so here we are giving random inputs okay
and again for 4 is to 1 marks we'll have to give it uh, here too Here we, uh, this is done, click on processes, sorry, click on this behavioral simulation, click on processes, uh, sorry, first of all you'll have to save this, once you have saved it, behavioral simulation, processes, click on test bench waveform, simulate behavioral model yes here it is so this is completely green that is my program and the waves i had given is correct so uh, how to explain it to the uh, external examiner uh, according to our table what we know is if uh, we select 0 0 inputs we get the uh, we select 0 0 input we get the in output of d0 and uh, accordingly the same for 0 1 that is d1 1 0 will be d2 and 1 1 will be d3 so here on the screen you will be seeing uh, while showing it to the external you'll have to move this blue line okay so if i keep it here here the select lines are 1 and 1 so according to a table 1 1 means the output should be of d3 check the output of d3 the output of d3 uh, is the in it is of 0 so you should get the output as of d3 that is 0 again if we move it here so uh, it is 0 0 0 0 is of d0 check the input of d0 that is 1 so your output should also be of 1 okay so again once more we check uh, this is 1 0 uh, the select lines are 1 and 0 according to our table 1 and 0 are of d2 so check the uh, input of d2 d2 the input is 1 so even your output should be of d2 that is 1 so here uh, 4 is to 1 data flow ends thank you